Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. The meaning of Christ is the anointed one and his anointing. So when Paul said he could do all things through Christ, he meant he was enabled to do all things by the anointing that was inside him. You see, the truth is, when we accepted Christ as our Savior and invited him into our lives, he came as he promised. But there is one huge portion of the truth we happen to overlook. Christ came along with the anointing that was on him. Yes, my dear friends, not only do you have the anointed one, Jesus Christ, living inside of you, but you also have his anointing embedded inside you. And that was exactly why Paul said he could do all things because the anointing would enable him. You see, when the sick man was brought to Jesus to be healed, Jesus did not say be healed, but he said, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Why would Jesus say that? That is because there are no different anointings for different needs. There is just the one anointing. And it is this one anointing that empowered Jesus to heal, to forgive, to deliver and accomplish all the different things that he did. And today, that same anointing, which was upon Jesus, which was upon Paul and upon all the apostles, is in every one of us who has Christ as our Saviour. The anointing that enabled Jesus to live such a marvellous life is also in us to empower us to do all what God has called us to do. So it's high time that we avoid doing all the junk that we are into. Let's protect it. This anointing keeps us healed. It keeps us protected. It keeps us free from the devil's yoke. Why should we stop the working of that anointing by foolishly playing around? Why don't you join me as we pray? Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for the anointing that is in us. It strengthens us and empowers us to do all things that you have called us to do. Remind us, Lord, that we have a responsibility to see that this anointing is never quenched. In Jesus' name, we pray this prayer. Amen.